Alvin is a platform that helps data teams maximize their impact by eliminating manual work, automating data governance, and reducing cloud spend. So now we're going to look at a really common workflow in almost all data teams, dropping a table or a column. Now, anyone who's done this knows it's not as straightforward as it sounds. It can be asking around on Slack. It can be sending an email warning people that it's going to be depreciated and hoping they see it. Or it can be digging into to the logs yourself, into your DBT or Airflow environment to try and understand where this table fits in. None of which are simple or foolproof. So uh, the impact analysis feature with Alvin makes it a lot easier. So let's dig in. We can search here directly for the, the asset, or we can write the SQL. So let's do that. We're going to drop a table in this case, uh, and this is in our Snowflake environment, and then we are going to run the analysis. So what this is doing is essentially simulating this SQL statement being executed in your production environment. Now, what, it, what this report tells us is exactly the impact of other assets downstream of this table in your environment. So let's look a little deeper. Here we see all of the tables that are affected and the jobs themselves. So these jobs are part of a pipeline that dropping this table will essentially break. Now, the fact that these jobs aren't running will mean that tables in the pipeline won't be updated. And this is what we call stale. So you can click into a specific table and see the users in your in your Snowflake environment, in this case, that will be impacted. Uh, we can go one level deeper and, and see the, the columns themselves. So in this case, we can see quite a significant impact in our Snowflake environment. Now, this may have to happen, this depreciation. So at least what, what we give you is the, the users themselves that are going to be affected. So instead of trying to notify the whole company, you can reach out to the individual users that, that need to move over to a, to a new table. We can also look into the BI environment. Now, this cross-system element is, is, is really powerful. As anyone who has uh, and tries to maintain a BI environment knows, then dashboards can very quickly start to break. Um, dashboard rot you know, can be a thing where uh, the metrics can no longer be relied on. And a lot of this is changes that are happening uh, in the data, data warehouse without really understanding the impact they're having in the BI system. So what we see here is a full report of all dashboards that are that are going to be affected. Um, so we can also dig a little further and see the specific dashboard elements. So again, in this case, if it needs to happen, then these are all dashboards that will need to be uh, changed or, or deleted as a result. And we also see the usage of these dashboards. Now, in this case, a lot of these dashboards aren't in use. So it may be that these can just be deleted, whereas the dashboards that are in use um, may need to be updated. So there it is, very simply, uh, impact analysis in Alvin, uh, prevent breaking changes and maintain the quality of your tables and dashboards. The next workflow we're going to look at is deleting unused tables and pipelines within your environment. Now, I think any data professional is, is probably sure that there's unnecessary tables and, and pipelines running in, the, in their data environment, but it can be very hard to spot those. and. By default, we don't want to remove anything that's going to impact uh, the, the users of our data. So we tend to be particularly cautious about, about removing anything. That's why you kind of need usage data, and that's something that's at the heart of the Alvin platform. So what we're going to do here is find all tables uh, in our Snowflake environment. Uh, so just click Snowflake here. And we're going to set the last use to more than 60 days. Very quickly, we get a snapshot of, of tables that aren't being used in our environment. Now we have 56 tables here. So all good candidates to be, to be removed from the, from the data environment. Some haven't been used in, in a whole year. Now going deeper, we can actually look and see, are these tables part of pipelines that again, might be driving more cost than, than storage alone. So let's jump into the lineage. So here we see uh, a table uh, that actually has a couple of downstream tables. So let's extend the full lineage. We can actually see that this table is part of a pipeline. And 
here are all of the, the looker assets that rely on, on this table. So at first glance, we might think that this is actually useful. Um, what's really great about the, the usage graph here is that we can see the usage of, of the assets as well. So for a table, we, we show the read queries in the past 30 days. Here we see that these tables themselves aren't actually useful to you. No one is querying them. Um, they're only part of a pipeline. We can also see in Looker that most of these dashboards aren't being used either. So one example, we have three views in the past 30 days. So this is a real candidate to, to look further and see whether this can be refactored in some way. And certainly there's plenty of dashboards here that, that aren't, aren't being used in your data environment. And again, are, are primed to be, be removed. So it's just a quick example of how Alvin's lineage and usage data can be combined to help reduce cloud costs in your data environment. So now we're gonna look at some common data governance workflows. So with Alvin, we have a data catalog powered by automation. So essentially you will connect all of your data platforms through our plug and play integrations, and we will index all of your data assets. Uh, they are then searchable within the catalog uh, and we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna look for specific table, employees EU, this is one I wanna see. And here you'll have kind of a pretty standard data catalog view. Um, what we do is we in ingest the columns here, but we also automatically tag the columns depending on whether they are PII or sensitive. We're also showing the usage of these columns as well. Um, in this case, they're all the same, but you can also see what are the important columns in this, in this table. We can see the users, uh, which again is automatically generated from the, the query logs. We have all the other kind of standard features you would expect from a data catalog, uh, including tags, business glossary terms, top users of the table, a link to the, to the uh, UI in BigQuery if you wanna dig further, et cetera. Uh, we're also able to see the usage of this table over time, top users, and a quick list view of the lineage. Now we have the visual lineage, but often for, for business users, they just want a quick snapshot. And this provides that in an easily digestible form. So I also want to look a bit deeper at this office column. Now, this hasn't been tagged yet with, with anything, but we know this has a pretty standard definition throughout our organization. And I quite regularly get asked by uh, people from the HR department what this actually means. So let's now jump into the business glossary and see if we have this term. We do. And in this definition, it's essentially one of our four offices. Uh, and that makes sense. That's, that's the answer to the question. But do we want to go in and tag all the places this exists? I know from experience that this column exists across lots and lots of different tables, and we can see that it hasn't really been tagged. So what we can do in the glossary, and just search for it again, is we can apply an automation. What we're doing is saying any columns that equal office, we want to be tagged with this term. So instead of going through and tagging one by one, these 30 places this column appears, we're actually doing that automatically on ingestion. So saving a lot of time and hopefully meaning that I won't get asked so much on Slack uh, what this term means. So just a simple example of how automation sits at, at the heart of our data catalog. Hopefully that's given you a good overview of some of the workflows that can be enhanced through Alvin. Save your team time, quickly diagnose errors, prevent breaking changes, and cut your cloud spend. Try for free today and start powering your team with industry-leading lineage and usage data.